So today's topic is the electrical current and its effect. Okay. So we know what is electricity. What Please is electric sir. electric okay. current? Energy. Yeah, we know what is electricity. What is electrical current? What is the main use? Without that, we can't uh, live nowadays. We can say like that. Yes, sir. So almost will depend entirely upon the electricity itself. Also, in one yes, way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because without phones and all, we will like see in the old days. Uh, every worker is on. Okay, your voice is breaking, Mahavir. Ah, uh, sir, now can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you properly now. So, in the olden days, without electricity, na, they have survived. Yeah, because they don't want the TVs or they don't want the mobiles or anything. They don't want the electrical gadgets. But nowadays. Just when you open. Then nowadays up, everybody is having one of those. Yeah, just we woke up and we open the gadgets, right? Yes, sir. Sir, morning, morning, morning. Sir, even these classes, school, everything we are uh, doing on this uh, devices on this uh, screen time has increased a lot. It is straining our eyes also. Yeah. So by the time we woke up in the morning till the time we sleep in the night, will completely depend upon the electrical gadgets. So we have the food to give the energy to our body, but what about the electrical gadgets? They also require some energy, right? Sir, electricity is their energy. Yes, sir, electricity and battery, those are the two things. Yes, sir. What you are saying? Just you are going to discuss about the electricity. We are doing lesson fourteen, uh, electric currents and effects. We are. Okay, title, sir. If it's a device which is like uh, which which doesn't need a lot of power, then it uses battery. And if it is a device like mobile phone and all, uh, that also has battery. But uh, uh, to charge the battery, we need electricity charge. Okay, good. So, whatever the device it is, electrical gadget is it? It is. It will have the battery. Even if you take the solar system, also, sorry, even if you take the solar device, also, which will store the energy and capture the energy in the form of battery itself, right? Yes, sir. So all the gadgets will require some form of electrical energy. Yes, sir. No. Yes, so sir. Yes. So it is one of the most convenient source of energy. That is only the electricity. It's very very important role because it will helps in the run various electrical applications. Appliances, sorry. So I've given only list of small, only small list I have given here, like electrical bulb, television, stereo system, refrigerator, washing machine, computers. So apart from this, there are so many things are there, right? So all these require the electricity. So without that electricity, they won't run. Right, so yes, but sir. from where will generate this electricity first? For food, na will depends upon the plants. So plants sir, will the food. Sir, sir, we'll... there are many resources. Yeah, then how we can repair the electricity? Electricity. Sir, using like or uh, tidal energies, so, sir, like water, sir, wind, like wind energy and all. Okay. So only tidal energy. Hmm? Sir, can you repeat? Your voice is breaking. Oh, sir, uh, sir, uh, sir, can you repeat? Only tidal energy is the source of electricity. Sir, no, sir. No, no sir. There, there are many. Hydroelectricity. There are many actually. Yeah, yeah the, the... Can you list of all these? Different methods which will generate the electricity. There are, sir. No, sir. For me, it's no, fine. sir. Sir, even for me, it's fine. Sir, for me also. Some people are telling it's breaking. Some are telling it's fine. But I don't have any problem from my side. Sir, it's not breaking, sir. Okay. See, we have the different source to generate the electricity. Like the most common one is a. Thermal power plants, which is most common in India, right? With the help of the fossil fuels like coal, will generate the electricity in the thermal power plants. The next one is a hydroelectricity. With the help of the water near the dams, will generate the electricity. That is a hydroelectricity. 
And the third one is what? What is the third one? <laughs> Guys, can you hear me or not? We can hear you, sir. Yeah. What is the third one? Wind. So we'll just will install the wind turbines and the. With the help of that, we can get the electricity also by rotating the turbines of the windmill. It will generate the electricity, and we'll use that one in the using for the home applications and all. What is the next one? Solar, right? Solar energy, which means it will capture the heat from the sunlight and it will convert to the electricity. That is the next one. Absolutely. But out of all the things, which one is the most common thing is with the help of the thermal. Power plants will prepare the large amount of the electricity. So, from the thermal power plants, that is also called as in power stations, where the electricity is generated. From there, we will take it the electricity to different places with the help of the wires, which will conduct the electricity. Like most commonly, we will use the aluminium or the copper wires. But in most of the cases, we will use only the aluminium wires, or you can say cables, which will transfer the electricity from one place to the other places. Right. Have seen the big lines, power lines, anywhere around your area? Yes, sir. Sir, we. Sir. Will be high tension lines will be there, right? Yes, sir. Sir, like they call them high tension roads. High tension lines and the low tension lines, which are you can see on the streets of our uh, cities, or these are the low tension lines, because you have the very low voltage. Okay, but we can see in the outside the cities or sometimes in between the cities also. Sir, actually, that. what happens is that the main sir, there will be like a place where electricity is generated. There will be like twenty thousand volts will be generated over there, and those twenty thousand volts will get converted to two twenty volts, which will be flowing through uh, the normal wires. Maximum uh, uh, for per each house. Maximum uh, in the least cases two forty is seen, sir. In maximum cases two twenty is only seen volts. Good. So in the during the power, ah, uh, if in the power stations the voltage is very high, but we want to transfer that electricity from one place to other place, right? So voltage drop is happening. So that's what at the higher voltage only will transfer the electricity from one place to the other place, and we have the nearby substations are there again. So where the step down transfer will be used, so to increase the voltage and all, and whatever the electrical gadgets or appliances are there in our home, all will run only at the two twenty volts maximum. So most of the electrical gadgets will run maximum at the two twenty volts only. Even the bulb or fan or the refrigerator or the mobile charger, anything. Okay. Yes, sir. So before going into the deep into the step down or step up transformers and all, first we we'll learn the basics of the electricity. So what is the electrical current? What is the circuit? Okay, what is the series connection? What is the parallel connection? What is the battery? So what is the non-rechargeable battery? Rechargeable battery. So there are different terms are there. First we'll study the basics, then we'll go into the another concepts. So first, you know everyone, the battery have seen right. The battery you use in the remotes, TV remotes, or you use yes, in the world. Yes, sir. Or sometimes, if you use the laser light, also you have the different types of batteries in that, like circular silver color battery and all. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, sir, first, uh, sir, can I tell? Yeah, Raga. Yes, sir, sir, a battery is like we can also call it as a group of two or three cells, sir, and there are different types of cells also, the electric cell and the dry cell. And uh, electric cell, uh, there's an experiment also. Um, if uh, we should like this, I did it in my school, sir. They gave us this experiment. We have to take like a beaker in which we have to add dilute sulfuric acid, which is an electrolyte. And in each battery, there's an electrolyte, sir, because they have the anode and cathode, which are the positive and negative terminals respectively, right? So in that dilute sulfur sulfuric acid, we have to keep. Uh, A copper rod and a zinc rod. This uh, sulfuric acid is an electrolyte. These two are ele uh, electrodes. Uh, 
So what happens? The copper rod will attract more positive ones, and the zinc one will attract more negative. So they both act as positive and negative terminals. And uh, uh, there, uh, we can still go more deeper. This is just a gist of it. And a dry cell, uh, it consists of uh, like a zinc container, sir. And uh, it has a base which acts as the negative terminal. And it is, it is like it has like carbon at the in the center, sir. And uh, in the top, it is covered with a brass cap, sir. And uh, inside, it contains the paste of manganese dioxide and charcoal. That's why it is known as dry cell. Since it is not a liquid, it is known as dry cell. Usually, in all normal batteries, a liquid is present. So uh, the that's the reason why this dry cell is called. Sorry, that's that's the reason why this cell is called as a dry cell. And uh, so a battery is like a group of three or four cells. And there are different types, and uh, we can join those cells also. Uh, and uh, positive and negative terminals they attract each other, so we have to join them at uh, those two only. And there are different symbols also for them. And a battery to form a battery, a positive terminal is is kept in contact with the negative terminal of the second cell, sir. Like that, if we join four, it, it acts like a battery. And uh, the bulb, uh, the bulb with which the battery is used, sir, it is connected with the negative terminal and of the first cell and the positive terminal of the uh, second or last cell, sir. Good. So that's what we are going to study in the basic wise from the step by step about the complete circuit diagram and all. So what you have done is that there is experimental things about the anode, cathode, right? That's good because. If you take the acids or the bases, they will act as the electrolytes, which will conduct the electricity. But if you take the sugar solution or the glucose, they will not conduct the electricity because they don't contain the electrolytes. Okay, that we will study one by one. Okay, Rago. Oh. Yeah. So first, electric circuit. Circuit means what? So you are connecting with the. Sir, a circuit consists of wires in it, and a closed circuit only works, which means that there's no disturbance in the connection of wires. Okay, good. So circuit means what? First thing. Sir, uh, sir, like a circuit has a bulb, cell, or uh, sir, like a switch and a wire. Sir, uh, sir, like when the electricity passes through the wires, uh. Sir, uh, then like the bulb glows with the electricity, sir, and it returns to the battery, like in the negative terminal. Okay. If you see this diagram, this is one of the electric circuit. So in this circuit, what is there? One bulb is there here. Okay. So one end of the or one terminal of the bulb is connected to the either positive of the battery or the negative terminal of the battery. So again, the other terminal is connected to the some other switch here. So this part you can see it as a switch. So again, it is connected to the other end of the bulb. So in the case of circuits, you have the three or four different things will be there. It can be a number of things also. But when you connect all these things, it should form the closed circuit. Then only it is called as a closed circuit. If anywhere the break is happened, then it is called as an open circuit. Okay. So it can contain self, or it can contain the wires, bulbs, switches, or any other things also inside the circuit. Okay, but compulsory if you take any type of cell, it will contain the two terminals. One is a positive terminal, the other one is called as a negative terminal. So when you are connecting the positive terminal to the switch, and with the help of the switch, you will try to take another wire and it will connect to the bulb. You can connect directly the negative terminal to the bulb itself. So when you on the switch, the bulb will close. Right? But when you off the switch, that means circuit is break, so it will not close at all. Understanding? So this is a way of connecting the circuits and all. Okay, here we have explained the two diagrams here neatly. So these are the two different circuits. What is there in this circuit? You have one bulb is there, one battery is there. So we cannot draw the battery always in the circuits. So we'll indicate with the help of the symbols, right? We cannot draw all the appliances, whatever there in the circuit in the diagram format. 
so that for each and every important thing in the circuit will be explained with the help of the symbols so for the bulb you will write with this symbol for the battery we will mention the symbol like the two lines two parallel lines one will be the short line the other one will be the somewhat longer line and for the switch we will mention the two dots along with one line so if the two dots are connected with the line there is a closed switch or the switch is on position whenever the two dots are not connected with the line this call is an open switch or you can say switch is in the off position understanding yes sir okay in the case of battery we have the two parallel lines are there right so the line which is shorter in length there is a negative terminal of the battery and the line which is longer in the length there is a positive terminal of the battery so if you take any circuit we will mention the different gadgets or different things in the circuit only with the symbols of that thing so first we will discuss the symbols in this diagram just wait a minute can you see it properly yes sir so if you take the electrical cell generally this is a diagram of the electrical cell but how we can symbolize that electrical cell with the help of these two lines parallel lines one is bigger in length the other one is a smaller in length what is the smaller terminal negative one negative sir one. negative yes. the bigger one is a positive positive so next one is a bulb we know we have the different types of bulbs will be there okay so all the bulb can be indicated with the symbol of this so there is no open or the close inside the bulb Yes or no? We can say the bulb is fused and all that we can use in other words, but generally the bulb is there in the circuit. We'll mention with this symbol. Okay. The next one is a switch. I said already two dots will be there. If two dots are closed now, that is a switch is in the on position. If the two dots are in the open now, switch is in the off position. Okay. The next one is a battery. So what is the meaning of battery? As Raga said. It is a combination of no, sir, or uh, two or more bulbs. Two or more cells. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, sorry. So battery means what? It is a com. Uh, it is a combination of two or more cells. Whether it have the series combination or the parallel combination, right? Series combination is <laughs> what? Connecting all the cells in one line. The positive yeah, connected yes. with the negative. Again, the positive will connect going with the negative. And the parallel combination means. Which you can see commonly in the case of TV remotes and all, two cells will be there parallel to each other. Okay, that you are going to discuss afterwards. The next one is a wire. So straight line indicates the wire in the circuit. Any doubts? No sir. No sir. No. Okay. So these are the different symbols. So you can see the circuit in the two ways. The first one is a closed circuit. So in the case of closed circuit only the bulb will glow, right? So when you are the passing from positive terminal of the battery along with the switch, the switch also in the closed position will enter into the one end of the bulb. So in the bulb we have the filaments, okay, where the electricity will be passed and generate the light, and again it will close, it will come back to the cathode. Okay, so this is a closed circuit. So current will be passing from the anode to the cathode. What is the anode and what is the cathode? What is anode? positive and negative terminals? Yes, anode. anode is the one which is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Okay, anode is the one which will connect to the positive terminal of the battery. Yes, sir. Cathode is the negative electrode. Cathode is the one which will connect to the negative terminal of the battery. Yes, sir. Sir, so like what is anode? Uh, like uh, anode and the cathode are the electrodes. Okay, we'll discuss it in the electrolysis process. That's better. In that, I'll explain it clear. Is it clear now up to this? What is open circuit and the closed circuit? Let's know. Sorry, your voice is Position. So the button. Just wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. 
is it clear now sir for us it is clear sir sir is my voice clear to you yeah now it is clear for me yes sir sir i was telling uh, sir an open circuit this sir this which is an off position so the bulb will not glow sir what will close uh, circuit sir uh, sir this which is an on position so the bulb will glow good any doubts up to this no sir so next one is electrical cell and the battery so just now we discussed right the battery is a combination of two or more cells so what type of combination it is here is it in the series connection or in the parallel connection sir which one sir this diagram uh, parallel 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 connection because two cells are placed in the parallel to each other so that they can see this one right in the case of tv remotes if you place yes, one cell in one direction we have to place the other cell in the different direction like sir that. but in some tv remotes it will not be like that sir sir like it will be up and down hmm? sir in some tv remote it will be up and down like one battery if you place it like on the top sir the other battery you need to place it bottom sir like a series yeah that is a series connection in olden days you have the torch lights are there right yes, so in the case of torch lights will place in the series connection okay but why you are placing all yeah the... yes sir uh, my actually my uh, my mother's father actually has that torch sir still good so nowadays we have the led torches and all but in olden days you have the torch lights which will runs on the batteries the thick batteries will be available now you can see the batteries in the tv remotes are very thin but which are the battery are using in the olden days torches are very thick right so they are placed in the series connection to give the sufficient voltage to the bulb yeah what is the main role of connecting two or more cells in the battery so to give more voltage good if you take one battery or sorry if you take one cell it will provides only 1.5 volts how much volts two so two 1.5 volts the single cell will provide only 1.5 volts of electricity only so if you want more voltage now we have to connect them in the more number of batteries either in the series connection or in the parallel connection understanding yes sir if you connect the two batteries now how much voltage you'll get so 2.5 uh, sir 3 sir how come it's 2.5 it's 3 you'll get the 3 3, three volts three volts now suppose you want to run the fridge then how many batteries you have to connect sir hmm. sir that's why like we are directly connecting them to plugs no exactly sir. Can... sir it needs to be run like 24 by 7 or else like vegetables or anything can get spoiled so like you have to frequently keep changing them the batteries are like a limited source sir they do not last long if it is for bigger that's why we use the generators or something or we directly connect them to the electric circuit where electricity directly flows yes sir because it is a lot this happen these cells are the non rechargeable cells right again one more term will come that we'll discuss okay but i'm just giving an example suppose if we take the led bulb how many cells have to connect to glow that bulb if it's a 1.5 volt bat volts bat cell now yes sir this calculate uh, then sir around sir 2 10 or 15 volts only if you connect the 10 cells also it will get only 15 volts right yes sir then 100 na 150 volts not sir, how many volts do we need to uh, like for a uh, like uh, for an led bulb just most commonly is the 220 volts only right yeah sir so then sir one sir 1.5 into 2 One two twenty by divided by one point five is a given the answer. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir. So we don't want the ten dollar. So instead of that, we'll use the rechargeable batteries, like inverters. We'll use in the power houses. Right? Sir, rechargeable batteries also they will only be for for some extent, sir. And we need to again recharge them. Yeah. Sir, and for recharging them again, we need electricity only. 
Yeah. But uh, recharging is more rechargeable batteries are more uh, better, right? Because if we want, if we take normal batteries, non rechargeable batteries, they'll keep on running out. We uh, keep on after wasting. Yeah, our sir. Money. No, no, sir. Mahavi was. Mahavi was telling that like anyways we have to use electricity to uh, electricity to recharge the batteries. Directly you can connect it rather. Oh, yes, okay. sir. Okay. Right. Um. Sometimes you cannot expect the power cut and all. Unexpected power cuts will happen. So that, that time we have to we want power in the house. Now what you'll do? Sir, uh, sir, in emergencies we can use them. Sir, in emergencies for torch light and all we can use them. Sir, we use uh, generator. Generator. So generator is good. If you have the apartment, then they'll have the generators for the all the uh, houses, the apartment. But if sir, you don't, like you know, barely like, even current goes. Generator. There's the inverter. Inverters will be there. So just the emergency purpose will use either in, okay if a inverter also is there now we cannot connect all the appliances to the inverter right because it does not support the load. Now listen the so current. Load. So current going in Dubai is like once in two or three years, sir. Okay. Sir, there are like some rechargeable batteries also. Like in I've observed in the toy cars, uh, the battery. It's a group of like four or five batteries and a wire is connected to it. So we can like charge it again. Good. Yes, sir. Sir, like in some remote control cars, we use like a uh, normal bat uh, cells, sir, like two, three or uh, like four or five cells. Sir, but in some, sir, like they give us like a, uh, like a battery, sir, of four cells, sir, and we need to recharge it every time. I forgot about this point itself. Yes. You all have some toys, right? Yes, sir. I had many. Yeah. Yes. But also, have so many electrical circuits is there. The most yes, common sir. cells. Yes, sir. Remote cars. Sir, and like. Remote. Uh, sir, cars. like if you have any old toys, you can just open like everything and just check it. Like it's very fun. I tried it. <laughs> so for many cars, there are batteries. Sir, I have many motors. Any motors, good. Motors and uh, sir, I uh, did the electric. Yeah, yes, sir. Sir, sir I, I have used to have. Sir, I used to have many motors, sir. But while shifting our like home last year, I don't know where I kept them. Sir, can I show sir, the electric me, sir. Uh, sir, can I sir, show the electric circuit effect? Sir, in my apartment, there's a friend, sir, and. Uh, Whenever he gets a remote control car, sir, he just opens it up and he collects the motor and uh, we both uh, uh, together make one DIY something with that motor, sir. Good. So we'll make some turbines and all around. Um... Yeah, yes, sir. sir we we made one. Tomorrow, today, uh, like, uh, have electric circuit effect. Okay. Electromagnet effect and uh, I have also the open circuit and the closed circuit effect. So you want to... Form a report on that. No, How to prepare the report? Sure, tomorrow, sir, Papa. Okay. Yeah. So you know better about these things, say motors, um, batteries, and all, right? Your yeah. toys also. Sure. Yeah. So again, these batteries are two types. One is the rechargeable batteries. The other one is a non-rechargeable uh, batteries. Normal. So rechargeable batteries are the one you can recharge once the power is completely used up in that battery. Non-rechargeable are what? Once sir, the, only one time. One sir, let me use them and we need to throw them. And you can say the battery is what? Converting the chemical energy into electrical energy, right? Yes, sir. Well, sir they are like disposable batteries. Yeah. So converting the chemical energy into the electrical energy in the case of tricell, you can. Okay, these are the non rechargeable batteries. Sir, normally we use them like in, uh, sir, like we use in our lasers, uh, sir, watch, sir, like our, our wall clocks. Okay. So once we used up that battery, if it completely enough, that's we have to throw it out. So there is only single usage batteries are there. These are the non-rechargeable batteries commonly used in the TV remotes and all. And in the cells also. Watches, these things. So the next one is the heating effect of electric current. So whenever the electricity is passing through some devices, suppose we take the bulb itself, not the LED bulb, but in the olden days, you have the other bulbs are there, right? Filament bulbs. Have you seen that bulbs? Sir, so, sir. Bulbs, sir. Bulbs, sir. Like, uh, there will be a thin wire uh, that is called... Uh, sir, sir, can you repeat? Can you repeat? In the nowadays, you have the LED bulbs or the... Yes, sir. Are there. But in the olden days, you have the different types of bulbs. 
heat and it will use the light energy so when you take the olden days bulbs it will consume more amount of electricity why sir and they get heated uh, easily it will That's consume when more we, amount uh, of heat energy because listen first carefully olden days the red color bulb will consume more amount of energy because it does not produce not only the light energy but also it will produce the heat energy so heat energy will consume a lot of electricity so only the olden days bulbs are producing a lot of Heat as well as the light, but if it is yes, sir. Sir, now the LED lights are came, sir, which reflect. Sir, now there are like fluorescent bulbs, which many are like most of most of the. If you take the LED bulbs, in the case of LED bulbs, it will consume the less amount of electricity because the LED bulbs are using the electricity only to produce the light energy, not the heat energy. Okay, so you can avoid the producing production of the heat energy in the case of LED bulbs. So only it will consume the less amount of energy. So that is only the main difference between the old old red color bulbs and these white bulbs. Clear now? So just give some time. Let me explain some points. Then you can give your own opinions. That's what I am telling from starting. Okay. now heating effect of the electric current commonly you can see the geysers or the immersion rods to heat the water right during the winter seasons and all how it is happening because there will be some heating element will be there in these devices which will warm the water the best common one is the immersion rod you can see it easily so when you place the plug have you seen the immersion rod heaters yes sir Yeah, what will be there? Simple mechanism will be there, right? Below there will be heating element. What, sir? Like there, immersion rods, water immersion. Rods. Sir, like there will be a sir, like that rod will be made of metal, sir, and like a plastic or uh, like a handle like thing to hold it, sir, and like when we are uh, are connected to electricity and immersion water. So it produces heat energy, which heats up, uh, which heats up the water. So what it like it takes a lot of uh, electricity. So if you take the water immersion rods, which will warm the water, it will have the simple mechanism. First, we have the two immersion elements will be there. They are connected to the directly terminals of the plug. Okay, terminals of the wire, and then will connect to the plug. So when you turn on the electricity, when you turn on the switch, what will happen? The electricity will be passed through these immersion rods. Yes, okay. so sometimes oh. so there were a few cases like when like people uh, used to try to take it out, they used to get shock. Yeah. So whenever the electricity is passing through this immersion rod, the immersion rod will have the high resistance. Which are the substances having high resistance? They will not pass the electricity. Instead of that, they will produce the heat energy. Understanding? Do you know the resistance? What is the meaning of resistance? Just wait a minute. Uh, Hello. Sir, we can't hear you. Sir, you no, no, no. sir, now we can hear. Wait, wait. There is some internet connection issue is there. Power went right, so it's problematic. Okay. Okay. What sir was telling? Sir told power. that he has a power cut. Now can you hear me properly? Yes, sir. Yeah. So when you take the immersion rods or the geysers or the 
heating devices they have the heating element which will have the very high resistance so whenever the electricity is passing through these heating devices okay which will convert the electrical energy into the heat energy understanding converting of electrical energy into the heat energy will be happen with the help of these heating elements yes sir so in called as a element only the name itself will called as a heating elements so what is it heating element it is nothing but a coil of wires coil of wire what is that heating element it's nothing but a coil of wire so these will have the very high resistance so which will help in the converting the electrical energy into the heat energy so that with the help of that what we will do we can in some cases we'll use the cooking for the cooking purpose in the case of immersion rod we'll use for the warming of water okay so what is the meaning of resistance What is resistance? What degree to which a substance opposes the flow of the electric current through itself is called resistance. The degree to which material opposes the passage of electrical current through itself. That means it will helps in the, what it will lose the material. It will oppose the flow of current through it. So, how much degree it is opposing? That is called as a resistance of that material. Okay. So now you can see here. Actually, whenever the electric current passes through a high resistance wire, the electrical energy gets converted into the heat energy, and this heat energy heat up the wire. Okay. Yes, sir. So. up to this first we'll discuss the line by line then we'll go for the remaining topics oh voice is breaking voice is breaking still okay so we'll stop up to this and uh, we'll continue from starting on the point to point so first satvika Yes, sir. Yeah, read on starting onwards. The most convenient source of energy is electricity. Electricity has a very important role because it is used to run many electrical appliances, like an electrical bulb, television, a stereo system, refrigerator, washing machine, computers, etc. And we cannot think our life without making use of electricity. Electricity is produced at power stations from where it is brought to our homes through the thin wire and electric poles networks or underground cables or wires. Here we can define the electric current as of the flow of electricity through a conductor wires cables. Actually in everyday life the word electricity the word electricity and electric current are used in the same sense. There is another source of electricity that is electric cell or battery. Now in order to obtain electricity from a cell or battery we have to connect it into a circuit so let us study about the electric circuit good any doubts in this paragraph any doubts for anyone any words what is the meaning of conductors sir um substance is that allow electricity to pass through them not like a conductor yes, are the materials that are which allow heat to pass through them or electricity to pass through them. sir example Okay. Sir, so example, copper. Copper or the all the metals will conduct the. Metal, metal. All metals are uh, conductors, sir. Okay. Then so what is the meaning of insulators? Sir, uh, materials do not allow. Do not allow. Sir, do not allow. Electricity do not allow. Sir, like they resist the electricity. Uh, I will ask you one by one. That's better, because if you are giving the answers all together, na, it won't be understood to anyone. Sir, Fatima. Time to raise hand, sir. Wait. So your voice is breaking. Fatima. Yes, sir. What is the meaning of semiconductors? Semiconductor, sir. I really don't know, sir. No problem. Next, Chaitanya. Yes, sir. What is the meaning of semiconductors? Sir, uh, semiconductors are the uh, types of uh, substances that allow current to pass through them partially. Very They good. also have a resistance against the current. Very good. 
so semiconductors are the uh, substance which will allow the current partially only they will not conduct the current fully or they will not resist the current fully they will allow partially current only understanding good chaitanya next rithik nimala yes sir can you tell me some examples of semiconductors um so like no 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 problem gohit yes sir any example for semiconductor materials sir can i tell sir can i repeat the question any example for the semiconductors so oh, let me i'm thinking so okay so can i say yeah fatima like uh, silicon germanium gallium iron uh, that arsenide and something like that right very good if you see the periodic table in the p block it will be there silicon sir germanium. tin sir tin is also an example yeah silicon germanium arsenic tin okay these are the same aluminum aluminum is metal conductor it is Yeah, it is like uh, it's not semiconductor. It is like complete conductor. Oh, okay. Okay. So we'll use the semiconductors in the chips. So because I remember chips, reading right? it somewhere that aluminium is also considered as a semiconductor. Okay, okay. It's not that because we'll use. Okay, so not... cannot hear your voice and your voice. Okay, now can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, so. semiconductors generally used in the chips you know the chips right electrical device will have the chips always in the mobile also we have the chips in the cars also we have the chips diodes and all if you open the remote car the chipset will be there in that we have the so many chips and the diodes will be there all these are made up of semiconductors only okay is it clear Who is that? Yes, sir. Sir, sounded like a baby. That's what. Okay. So next, Fatima, can you read this paragraph? Electric circuits. Okay, sir. A continuous conducting path consisting of wires, bulbs, switch, etc., between the two terminals of a cell or battery, along with an electrical current flows, is known as an electrical circuit. Example: Take a cell having a positive terminal and negative terminal. Now try to connect the positive terminal of the cell to one end of the switch with a piece of copper wire and other end of the switch. to one end of bulb holder with another piece of copper wire the negative terminal of the cell is connected directly to the other end of the bulb holder with a wire as shown in the figure so this kind of setup is known as an electric circuit good any doubts in this no sir no doubts sir can I Any new terms are there in this paragraph? No, right? Sir, can you just recall that topic, that paragraph? Okay. So electric circuit means what? This is a continuous conducting path between the two terminals of the cell. Positive and negative. So wait, remaining people, please wait. So. when you are connecting the two terminals of the battery there should be some continuous path should be there so you can make that path with the help of the wires or with the help of the bulbs or with the help of the switches so all the things will be added between the two terminals of the battery so when you are adding these two terminals of the battery and joining to the cell the current has to flow if it is a flowing now that is a closed circuit if it is not flowing that is a open circuit okay so all this conducting path can be the wires or bulbs or switches whatever it is will be connected between the two terminals of the battery only understanding that is only called as an electric circuit okay sir 
so battery means what again or the cell means or again there has a two terminals one is a positive terminal the other one is a negative terminal suppose you are suppose you are connecting the positive with the positive whether the current will flow no sir no right no, sir. current will flow only from the positive to the negative terminal only if you connect the two different cells from positive end to the positive end they will not flow at all the next one is a circuit diagram yes sir sir can i read this circuit wait okay, wait okay, okay. Ishan, Ishan, Shiva, Shiva Pranav, sir, who you call, sir? Shiva Pranav. Shiva left arm. Is there? Sorry, left side. Jade. Yes, sir. Read that paragraph. Circuit diagram. Yeah, yes, sir, sir. A circuit diagram tells us how the various components in the in an electric circuit have been connected by using the electrical symbol symbols of the components. First, when the bulb glows in an electric circuit, when the switch is closed, then the switch is said then the switch is said to be in on position, and when the switch is in a circuit is open. <clears throat> then the switch is said to be um, in off position. So in an electric circuit, a bulb lights up only when the switch is on position. And at the same uh, and at the time, we can say that the electric circuit is complete because um, the current follows through the circuit instantly. As shown in the figure, uh, electric circuit. Second point, when the bulb does not glow while checking the circuit, notice that sometimes the bulb does not glow even when the switch is on position. Uh, the, this condition can occur only in the bulb gets fused, filament breaks. It is a difficult and uh, time consuming job to draw and to draw the electric circuit by making the actual drawings of cell battery switch bulb etc okay good any doubts in this no sir okay what will be your homework for today's for you so you should only give sir that to draw the all thing what do you do? Is it okay, sir? No, 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 that's fine. Start to draw all the symbols. Okay, that's better. So we can search not only these things, we can search for the different electrical appliances and their symbols. What is the symbol for resistance, conductivity, wires, and everything? So here I have given only the six symbols, right? Uh, sir, yes, sir. So, sir, but I have eight, sir. Yeah, yeah, total. So just search in the internet. Then we should add electric fuse. Okay. So just add some more symbols here and write a short note on them. What you'll write? Short note, sir. Write a short note on any one sir, of the. Tomorrow I will show, uh, tell you Pakka search. Okay. Your wish, that one I am telling you. Write a short note on any one of the process of generating the electricity. Either it can be thermal energy or the hydroelectricity okay, or the wind. Okay. Understanding? Yes, yes sir. sir. Write yes, a short sir. note on the other, any one of the source of the electricity. Then, okay, we'll end another session here. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Sir, no oh, doubts. Sir, I don't have any doubts. Yes, but, uh, before, also, I have given the homework for you. But you have to finish. I will not give any excuse for the next class. Okay, sir. Sir, are you going to check the homework?
Yeah, Fatima, just show your homework. I forgot to the time in the starting. Yes, sir, one minute. Small voice sound is coming from the background. May I know who is this? Hi, sir, Fatima, it's soon, sir. No, no. Good, Fatima. Just you can share that homework to me in the WhatsApp, okay? Okay, sir, no problem. Yeah, good. The remaining also you have to complete that homework, whatever I have given in the previous class. Okay, sir. Yeah. Any doubts? No doubt, part? sir. Okay. So have a nice day. Bye-bye. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day.